Welcome to another video. In this video, I am going to discuss about numericals on fixed second law of diffusion. First, we try to understand what the fixed second law talks about. Basically, it talks about the unsteady state of diffusion, which states that the rate of compositional change or accumulation of the diffusing material at a point is equal to the diffusivity times the rate of the concentration gradient. If we express it in terms of mathematical equation, it will be like this. That is dc by dt is equal to d into d square c divided by dx square. So we try to understand the each term one by one. dc by dt that is nothing but compositional change at a point or it is an accumulation of the diffusing material expressed in terms of items per meter cube per second. Next is the concentration gradient that is dc by dx expressed in terms of items per meter cube per meter. C is the volume of concentration of the items that is items per meter cube. X is the distance the, from the plane in the direction of the flow of direction where the diffusion is taking place. The D is the diffusivity it is also called as diffusion coefficient or coefficient of diffusion. This second law of fix is a differential equation. When we try to solve this equation, the solution will be looked like this. That is, Cs minus Cx divided by Cs minus C0 is equal to Erf x by 2 into the under root d into t. Try to understand the each term of this particular formula. That is Cs, that is concentration of the diffusing items. Co is nothing but initial concentration of the diffused items at the start of the process. Cx is the concentration at some distance x from the source of diffusing items at a time p. Erf is a Gaussian error function. Look at the diagram. The above picture shows diffusion of carbon items into the component. The concentration of the carbon is Cs. The concentration of the carbon at the component surface is C0. When the diffusion takes place, the carbon items will move into the component. Say that one at a distance of x. The concentration prevailing at that point, we call it as a Cs. So, we try to understand the relation between the Gaussian error. For that, we have to look into this particular table. Here, the values of y and erf values are given. These are very much helpful in solving the numericals. Let's try to take one numerical. Consider a carburizing process of steel component at 920 degrees centigrade. Determine the time required to increase carbon content to 0.4% at a distance of 0.55 mm below the surface. Assuming that the carbon concentration at the surface is maintained at 0.9% throughout the process. The steel has a carbon content of 0.2% and take the D of the carbon in steel at 920 degrees centigrade as 1.28 into 10 raised to minus 11 meter square per second. So this numerical can be solved by considering the second law of fix of the diffusion. So we already know the second law differential equation solution is Cs minus Cx divided by Cs minus C0 is equal to Erf x divided by 2 into under root of d into t. So let's try to understand this problem. The very first step is to note down the uh, data. The whole process is taking place at a temperature of 920 degrees centigrade it has been given here. So we need to calculate the time required to increase the carbon concentration to 0.4% at a distance of 0.5 mm from the surface. It means the value of Cx is, is equal to 0.4%. This we need to achieve it at a distance of x that is 0.55 mm. Further, it is said that one, assuming that the carbon concentration at the surface is maintained at 0.9% throughout the process, it means 
the carbon percentage is available for the diffusion is 0.9%. The steel has a carbon content of 0.2%. It means the carbon content initially at the surface of the component is 0.2%. And further it is given in the problem that is the value that is the diffusivity value is, is equal to so 1.28 into 10 raised to minus 11. So we try to analyze this particular problem. It means there is a component is there. So where the carbon items are to be diffused, the carbon concentration which is available here is 9.9% which is available at the surface that is C0 is 0.2% and we want to calculate the time for a concentration to be at 0.4% that is at a distance of x that is 0.55 mm from the surface. So we can make use the formula which has been written here. So let's try to substitute the values here. So 0.9 minus 0.4 whole thing is divided by 0.9 minus 0 0.2 so this is, is equal to ERF into the bracket the x value is given in terms of mm so we need to convert it into the meters then it will become 5.5 e to 10 raised to minus 4 so this is divided by 2 into the under root so 1.28 into 10 raised to minus 11 into t so we need to calculate this particular time. So if you simplify this one, this value comes out to be 0 0.7143. And let me write, so everything in the bracket is, is equal to as y. So we know a relationship is there between ERF y and y. So you can see here, ERF of 0 0.71 is equal to 0 0.75. So it means now I can write that 0 0.75 is, is equal to so 5.5 into 10 raised to minus 4. The whole thing is divided by 2 into the bracket of so 1.28 into 10 raised to minus 11 into t. So if you calculate the value of t, then it will become 2 into the under root of 1.28 into 10 raised to minus 11 into t, which the t is to be calculated, so which is, is equal to, so 5.5 into 10 raised to minus 4, so whole thing is divided by 0 0.75. So further if you simplify it, it will become under root of, so 1.28 into 10 raised to minus 11 into t, so which is, is equal to so 5.5 into 10 raised to minus 4 divided by 0 0.75 into 2. So in order to get the value of t, we need to calculate this by squaring both the sides. So when we do this one, then it will become 1.28 into 10 raised to minus 11 into t which is, is equal to, to the bracket, is 5.5 into 10 raised to minus 4, whole thing is divided by 0 0.75 into t, into the whole square. So in order to get the value of t, we need to simplify it, so that is, so 5.5 into 10 raised to minus 4, the whole thing is divided by 0 0.75 into 2, its whole square, it is to be completely divided by so 1.28 into 10 raised to minus 11. So let's try to see that one, how it can be calculated. So you can see here, the calculation we can do it here, that is 5.5 into 4 minus, that is 10 raised to 10 divided by 0 0.75 and into 2, close the bracket. 
so that is equal to so it is to be squared and it is completely divided by bracket 1.28 into 11 that is minus 10 raised to x so close the bracket and calculate the value so the value comes out to be here is 10503.772 so let's assume that one so this value is 10 503. So this is in terms of seconds. When you convert it into hours and minutes by dividing it by 60 and again 60, it comes out to be 2 hour 55 minutes. So in this way we can calculate the time taken for the diffusion to increase the concentration to 0.4% at a distance of 5 mm below the surface. Thank you for watching this video. Do subscribe my channel and visit kdedutech.pg.com for, for more such type of videos and even different courses on it. Thank you once again for watching this video.